Hi everyone, tonight I wanted to bring to you my April and May layout I wanted to share with you. The first couple are going to be from the uh, Record the Story YouTube site. I did the 4x4 baby series and then the rest is going to be from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club, the challenges, uh, Paper Palooza, and then there was a few from the retreat that I didn't add in in my last video. But these are the two places that I really get a lot of inspiration from and Sarah Scraps of Rediscover Your Stash. Um, all the women on these two uh, sites, or three sites, are, are wonderful. They're very inspirational. So if you're looking for some inspiration or try to do something different in the way you're scrapbooking, um, I highly recommend them. Uh, the Secret Not Secret Kit Club, I believe, I'm not sure if it's a free site or if you have to purchase the kit on that. And then uh, record the story. Obviously, that's a, a free free site. They have a website and they also have a um, YouTube station. But so let's get started. This is the Creative Memories. It's from 2013 and um, I used this for the 4x4 series and I use this uh, green. It's like a floral, a yellow, large polka dot. I believe this salmon is either a small polka dot or heart and then this floral paper. I really liked how my layouts came out. Um, Janet had some awesome ideas. Um, this is the first one with the one picture, this is a picture of my daughter, and she, uh, Janet used punches, but I wanted to use up these embellishments, and I think I may only have one of these butterflies left. All of these gold swirls are gone. Um, this was sitting on my desk, and the balloons were sitting on my desk for the longest time, and I just, I, I made the line of embellishments, and, and, you know, the picture stands out for itself, but this is just a beautiful addition to the page, I think. Um, and then I added some word stickers, and I called it a day. So, there's that one. This is the second 4x4, and what we did on this one is we used embellishments, paper as embellishments. So this is a tone-on-tone -tone where we just glued them on. I inked some of it around it to make them stand up. We did the twine. Um, we cut these and then ruffled them up, which uh, Jana called it the baby ruffle. And then these are just border punches, and then I just re-glued them back on there. And this is uh, me and my brothers. And... I, I love how this came out and it was pretty easy to do um, the creative memories paper is pretty thin so I have to go back and do some um, re-gluing of it and then once I get in the paper page protector so I'm sure it'll be fine um, this one is the third one and this is the band design and Janet showed us how to do these ro rosettes. I, did, I don't think they're rosettes, but we, we punched out the flower and then we put the string around it and created the embellishments. Um, I was working on this during the Secret Not Secret Kit party and a uh, challenge was issued where we had to use 10 tags with this design. So I added the 10 tags and um, this came out really cool. Once again, this was really easy once I made created these embellishments. I did have to watch the video a couple times, but I got it. Um, and, and now I can do it with no issue. So yeah, that's one of my favorites. Uh, another one of my favorites is this. Um, I like the way that Janet uh, said to use our older pictures because these older pictures have been sitting around. This is my dad. This is me. Uh, my mom, my grandmother, my brothers, and it's nice to get those done and be able to put those in an album. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it all an album by themselves or intermix them in between our family albums because I think it would be fun to see them in between the current day albums, but we'll see. Like, I think I'm maybe four here, maybe put it with my daughter's um, album when she's four years old then we could compare the two you know I, I don't know we'll see uh, this one is my branding strips and just strips left over from out from different papers that I've used um, I did one for fall and I did one for summer so I did like a warmer one this is the fall one um, and what I like about this is I remember like what I use this paper on, you know, like this is one 
canoe to canoe. This is Shine On. Um, you know, I can go through and I can I can remember. This is Case of the Blahs. Uh, this was, I can't remember the name of it, but it was a Christmas one. So I can go through and I can see. I remember with the different ones. This is Maggie Holmes that I used the paper on. It's, it's kind of cool. But uh, this was my daughter's birthday and Mother's Day. So scrapbook that. Then we go on to the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. Um, so this is my 2019 summer bucket list. And uh, my daughter and I, my daughter's going to go away in college fall of 2020. So we have two summers to get stuff done that we have said that we were going to do and we never do. Um, so this is the year to get that done. So um, I have more stuff to list. But uh, the first thing was to make an herb garden. So we did do that and we went and uh, we created it and we potted it and it's all in our window. So I'm gonna list the herbs and where we went and how much it cost and that stuff. This one, we said we were gonna go over to a place that's like five minutes from our house. It's a garden um, and we were gonna walk around. It's 16 acres and then we were also gonna get sushi. Um, so we've been saying we've been gonna go to this garden forever. So we got the sushi and we went to the garden and um, so that was done. And this one, yeah, that's it. And then this is going to be about our one tank trip. And then uh, Secret Not Secret Kit Club said that uh, they issued another challenge to write about a chapter that ended in your life. Well, my husband just quit his job and got a new job. So there's a chapter ending in our life that I will write about that. Um, now, yeah, the rest of these are Secret Not Secret Kit Club challenges. This was to blow ink through a straw, and this came out really cool. Um, the whole white piece of paper is has this design on it, but I had already had this planned. Um, this this the layering is from Record the Story, where Janet said, you know, take your scrap pieces of paper and just block them together as they are whole, and that's what I came up with, and I combined the two. And that's what I got. But I will definitely be doing this technique again. Um, it did. It came out really cool. Even the border did. But uh, the whole sheet will be fun to do. This one was a challenge from Secret Not Secret Kit Club. Uh, it was Christie's to use something double. So I have these on there double. It was seeing double vision. I have the buttons. I have the tags. Um, I have two play pictures of my favorite places, uh, our front porch, and my scrapbook room, and then I'm going to write about all of our favorite places on here. And that's a two-page spread because this is us, Hello Spring 2019, um, and we're on our front porch having our first cup of coffee for the season. Um, since we live in Ohio, we had to wait for it to warm up, and then I'm going to write about that, and then I have extra pictures attached there. just slides in there. This is about a fundraiser. Um, this challenge was issued by Kathy. She's one of the members of the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. And she wanted us to do a monochromatic layout, but we had it with 10 things within your color. So that was green is mine. And she wanted one of them to be messy. So mixed media. So I did do this. I, I did um, sprays behind this, and I wasn't liking the way it was turning out. So I found this um, stencil, and this is my daughter's car wash for her school. And it reminded me the circular, you know, wax on, wax off. And I might even put that here. Um, I haven't decided yet. And then I just picked out 10 different things from my green case, and um, there we have it. Oh, and we bought her a mattress as well that day, right after the car wash, because it was at a mattress place. So that's her tired after washing cars. This one was a paper chain challenge. And since I used all my branding strips, I had no paper to um, use. So I decided to use ribbon. This ribbon has been in my stash for I don't know how many years. And so I cut the slits and then I weaved it through. Um, and this is us at Universal, and this is a whole long story about Scooby-Doo, and um, I'm going to do a pocket page 
next to it with some of the ribbon that's left over. And I know I have Scooby characters down here, so uh, somewhere, and once I find them, I'm gonna put them down here. But um, I like the way this came out. It took a long time to get done. I think it needs a little bit of black, maybe some black splatters on it, or maybe I'll do some black ink here. Not sure, but um, I like the way that came out. I don't normally do such simple, simple um, designs. I usually throw a lot of stuff on my design. Um, I might keep this covered up because this is the stitches that my husband, he took chain, ch chainsaw <laughs> and to his toe. But this is the second branding strip. So this is the summer one that I did. And he did this Memorial Day last year. Um, and then I used the Creative Memory Punch and I put some, uh, what are they, Nouveau drops, enamel drops, liquid drops, and the big toe, I made it red. Um, and these are big chalkboard stickers, and that's pretty much it. So there's that. This one, um, Secret and Secret Kit Club Challenge again. Um, scrapbook a, a size that you don't normally do. Well, I don't normally do uh, six by twelves. Um, so I thought this would be really cool. This is that uh, place that we went to this garden view to, uh, do a double layout. So I'm going to talk about, this is the night before she went to her friend's house. Um, and she was excited cause she was driving, um, to a mall and then they had a rest, uh, reservation at a restaurant and her, her, her and her friends were all excited about it. So, um, and then I'm going to talk about the story here. And then this is just pictures. This is the sushi pictures and just pictures of us at this garden. That was kind of cool. So, and I don't, I have this collection. It's, I think it's record, record story two or something like that. And it's kind of like Victorian for me. So, um, I haven't used it and this one I used the that's all I used on this whole layout so I was pretty happy about that this one um, so this is type 2 I believe from Tuesday morning it's a paper pad that I, I picked up that was pretty cheap and I started working on it while it was still in the paper pad and I created the whole thing while it was in the paper pad well I forgot that uh, I would have to take off the branding strip. So I had to add this to the bottom and some ruffling. It's it's a little busy, but I'm really happy how it came out. I have been, and these are those liquid dots again too. I've been making my photos a little smaller so I can get two on the page. And I'm happy with the way that came out. This one, this was, um, this is from one of my older kit clubs, the pieces of paper. I don't remember who the manufacturer was, but uh, it came with these like acetates and these words, and it was pretty easy. I used my tiny attacher, and I know the picture's crooked. I have to put something here um, for journaling, um, but I, I had glued this down at the retreat, and then I came home, I was like, oh, that's a problem, and I did it wrong. So I, I have to fix that up yet. Or I may just leave it how it is and, and just move on and do the journaling here. Um, but I like the way this came out. This paper's hard for me to use because you, there's not a lot you can do to it. So I just put the uh, acetates there and then the words. And uh, like I said, I used my tiny attacher. So it's that one. This one was grab five, and I can't remember all the stuff that we had to use. I think we had to use word stickers, we had to use the clouds, we had to use uh, markers, so I just did some squirrelies there. I love the way this came out. Oh, we had to use a tag, I do remember that. I see another picture hidden. Oh, yep. We had him. so it's spirit week at my daughter's school. They had to make a team inspired outfit I guess so they chose Winnie the Pooh I have this Winnie the Pooh paper that I have never used and uh, so this worked out really well for it um, I love the little bees that are going around in the flowers I, I like the way this came out 
this one, I can't remember what this was. Oh, I think this was make your own challenge uh, or make your own paper. And I combine the challenges again because this is all scratch paper here. Um, and then I stamped all of this. This is a park that we went to visit um, out of our town and I was just going to scrapbook about it. It was about German village, uh, German, uh, a park that was dedicated to the German uh, residents there. So um, I, I really like how that came out. And I, there was a sketch with that one as well. All right, this one, were, this is the retreat, the Secret Not Secret Kit Club retreat in Ohio in March. And the lady that sat next to me, Tracy, she created this beautiful background paper for me. And I wanted to honor that with all the ladies that sat at our table. They were all so awesome. We had so much fun. Um, but Tracy, she did a lot of the mixed media and she had a lot of the papers ready to go. She taught me um, a lot just sitting next to her about the mixed media and I appreciate that so much. But I had to cut the pictures in, in two and then I made it larger. And I used some sequins, um, which I don't normally use, but I thought it added some bling and I did that whole uh, diagonal. Um, and like I said, this, I love the way this came out and I had so much fun at the retreat and then she had signed it and I, I wanted to back it so I cut out her name just just so I would have that as a nice memento so thank you Tracy this one was from the retreat as well uh, this is an older picture of my daughter they uh, we went to Georgia and with the Girl Scouts and they had to clean up the beach before they could swim and have fun that day so uh, at the retreat, the Secret Not Secret Kit retreat, we were given this napkin, we were given the doily, the guest check, the inventory tag, um, this was a felt balloon, these two, uh, this sign, I think this was part of a cut apart, this was uh, together as well, and I cut it in half, the popsicle stick even though it's a sucker stick and then uh, this little paper here we were given I think oh and we were given the netting I think that was the 10 things that we were given and we had a scrapbook a page using all 10 and I really enjoy this challenge I always have fun because you never know what you're going to get I never would have done a beach scene like this um, on my own so when I started the video today when I say these you know these uh, websites inspire us to do different things. This is kind of what I'm talking about. Um, I, I never would have used a napkin. I never would have made the sun ray or the kind of the landscape like the beach. So if you have a chance to uh, watch these videos or jump on these uh, Facebook sites, I highly recommend it. But uh, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed my layout. And hopefully there'll be some new things coming. It's just instead of layout shares, I have some ideas that I want to share. So thank you and have a good night.